physically cannot do it or my doctors tell me that's no longer a good idea, that's when I will stop running. I'm not at that point yet. Everyone has a different journey with their cancer and knowing their body, but for me it's like, if, if you don't use it, you lose it. I was just finishing up my degree and getting ready to start my final season when I found out that I had a rare salivary gland cancer called adenoid cystic carcinoma. I had a surgery and radiation treatment initially and was pretty much cancer free for about seven years and um, I had a recurrence in 2016. I have failed quite a few treatments, but I'm starting a new treatment today, actually. It's been hard to keep running and training basically since my recurrence, but I have done as much as I can. I've tried to stay active as much as possible. I do feel like it has helped me to cope with the mental and physical side effects of being a cancer patient. My big goal is to get back to the 2020 Olympic trials, hoping I'll be able to run and train while on this treatment. I'm not sure what exactly to expect in terms of side effects, but between my health and my training, it's just like finding that right window to, to get it done. And I'm hoping that, I'm hoping it'll work out. Actually, I think I was so, I felt so grateful to have my health back um, after I was diagnosed when I was 22. And I think I just had a, a different sense of purpose and a sense of urgency with my running, especially after finally realizing that time and opportunities are, are finite. I just wanted to make sure that I was getting the most out of myself so that I didn't have any regrets. But now it's really important for me to try to share my story and hopefully encourage other patients who are in a similar position to me to you know, keep going and also share their stories and try to try to advocate on behalf of everyone. There's a lot of rare cancers that are kind of off the beaten path in terms of treatments. They just don't get as much federal funding. So a lot of the research has to be funded by patients and their families. So Cycle for Survival is really special because it fills a need and a gap for funding for these uh, lesser known diseases. that cancer patients get told that they can't necessarily do and there really are a lot of things that people can do and that's what my story is about continuing to chase your goals and and also doing what I can to contribute to the fight against rare cancers <laughs>